I'm the guy that teaches you that if you live with a plan on less than you make and you stay out of debt and invest your money, you will retire with dignity. I'm so old school and mathematically inclined that I can prove that that happens over and over again. We've been interviewing millionaires here on the air and been doing some millionaire theme hours, asking them how they became millionaires. And virtually every one of them did not inherit wealth. Virtually every one of them became millionaires by living on less than they make, saving and investing. Very few of them ever made over $200,000 in their lifetime, household income in a year. The vast majority of them were the tortoise, not the hare. 88% of American millionaires are first generation rich. That means about nine out of 10 people that are millionaires started with nothing and became a millionaire. We've got a group of people in America, I call them hope stealers, who are saying that it's impossible to win now. It's impossible to win. There's too many systemic problems. There's too many things that are broken in the culture and in the economy that the, the little, it's the ultimate line, the little man can't get ahead thing. And yet I kept running into millionaires everywhere who were first generation. They started with nothing. They did not inherit their money. And then I started running into them that had followed our baby steps. That's why we named it Baby Steps Millionaires that became millionaires. And so I thought, I've got this, all this data and anecdotal evidence both on one side that it is possible, and then I've got these hope stealers out here telling people they can't do it and stealing their hope. And so I thought, well, you know, the first thing we got to do is we have to fix that because it's the old Henry Ford line, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're probably right. And so, uh, you know, you, you have to, if I think I can be in the NBA, I'm wrong. I can't, okay? I, there's not a chance. I don't have the physical skills. I'm an old guy with a pot belly. It's not happening, right? So that's ridiculous. But, but when it comes to over time, can I have a successful marriage? Even though maybe in your past, there's not one in your family tree. Uh, over time, can I raise good kids? Even though in most of your family tree, no one turns out. Can you break that chain? And if you don't believe you can, you won't take the steps to do the hard work to be successful in that area, that compartment, that department of your life. And, and money's no exception to that. And money's particularly weird in the spiritual in that, uh, in, in this area of belief, uh, because it, it just, it will run from you. You can't catch it. Uh, you know, if you don't believe, uh, because you won't do the you won't do the the sacrificial things. You won't live like no one else, so that later you can live and give like no one else. There's no reason a farmer would ever go out and toil in the sun and pl and plow the field and get the stumps out and the rocks out and, and then put corn in the ground if he didn't think corn was going to come up after he did that. That would be absurd. Only a crazy person would do something that they don't think is going to turn out. And so you have to believe first. And so what we try to do is we try to bring in emotional behavior, uh, data of other people and math and any kind of a lens I can get you to look through to make you believe that you can do it. I know you can do it, but I've got to convince you you can do it before we can move into the tactical step.